Hey guys. So, uh, you know what? Screw that. Hey guys. <laughs> I, don't, I hate sadness and, and unhappiness, <clears throat> but technically, I, um, you know, technically I am in that unfortunate moment right now of state uh, where uh, I just, uh, you know, had to do something that was, uh, I don't know, kind of, not sad, but uh, like, I don't know, it kind of makes me feel a little worried or or not, I don't know how to, <clears throat> how to explain the right emotion, but um, maybe, f yeah, fear, maybe like a fear of what's to happen next. Did I make, did I make the right decision? Maybe that's what, but not like fear, like afraid fear, like, you know, like, like, you know, you get scared fear, not that type of fear. I don't know. Anyways, and what, what am I talking about? Well, uh, I am, without, you know, going into too much details, of course, and all that, but I am, I had to, unfortunately, I had to quit a job. Just did, officially. Just put in my final uh, designation as of today, even. Because uh, as, as per our HR policy, we're allowed to do that. So it's not like a corporate environment where you have to put in notices and all that. Here, you can simply do last minute notice anytime, and the company can do the same. That's the agreement we, uh, sorry, that's the agreement we can uh, uh, make. Check it out. Skateboarders. They need an action cam. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I just had to do that. Um, because a long, long story, but long story short, uh, management, corrupted management, um, low pay, horrible hours. You know how it is, the whole nasty shebang routine of a lot of American companies nowadays in the U.S. It sucks, dude. Uh, you know, they say we're creating jobs and stuff in the economy, but in actuality, we're, yeah, we're creating a lot of part-time jobs. Uh, there's even a, uh, a professor who studies in that type of field, or economics or finance, whatever, was talking about that, I think from Cal State or Caltech, or somewhere like that. Was, there's an article he wrote, it's really good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just common sense, too. I mean, everybody you can see that. So if you look at the actual figures of creating jobs. So anyways, long story short, uh, this is one of the consequences of those jobs. But even then, I mean, even part-time, it doesn't, you don't, you could, it doesn't mean you have to have the rest of the bad stuff that, like that, that I've been, that I've experienced for the last, uh, you know, very long time, nine months almost, whatever. Uh, and I was, which is, uh, once again, corrupted management. The biggest things, corrupted management, oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, corrupted management, the top biggest things in that order, I guess, would be, uh, mean, just mean, mean, horrible co-workers, like, just like, like very immature, bullying, like, I mean, like, these people, like, never left high school, I guess. It's pathetic. Um, and, and a lot of them, too, are, like, my same age, too, they're not really, like, I mean, yeah, we did have some young folks, but a lot of them were not really that much younger than me. Uh, it's just that type of environment. Leave a comment down below if you can guess what I'm talking about. <laughs> You might be able to. I'll give you a hint. It was a. Uh, it was at a. It was at a. It was a company, a very big company, uh, one of the biggest in the world. And it was on the retail side, so that's the hint. Uh, but yeah, so it'd be. I guess it'd be very, very bad. Um, just really mean, bad, corrupted, uh, bullying type coworkers. Very selfish. Doesn't know what it's like to be a team player. And it's always looking out for them, their self-interest, even though they appear to be, uh, you know, appear to be friendly and all that crap. It's just, you know, to please the management so they think that, uh, you know, so they can get, so they can hopefully get their promotions or, or get their, you know, uh, special trainings or uh, special, uh, you know, incentives to take on other roles maybe or help out other roles or blah, 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 you know, all that crap. You know how it is, kissing ass and all that. Um, and then, of course, you know, corrupt management, like I said, low pay bad hours no benefits too because uh, that's also why a lot of companies in the US are doing so many part-time jobs because they save a lot of money because they can pay less and less benefit and no benefits which is completely stupid and hypocritical even and, and completely unfair because we I could be doing the same I am doing the same exact role as a lot of other full-timers that full-timers are making more money and not even been there that much longer so what the F 
Anyways, uh, so I just uh, finally came, you know, it's been on my mind for a long time. Ever, matter of fact, ever since I noticed that they, uh, that this company was doing, and the people that work with this company were doing these things, all of a sudden I was like, oh, crap, dude, I already know. I really hope this works out and it doesn't have to go the other the other uh, way. And sure enough, as what's been happening with them statistically for a long time now, it did go the other way. And uh, yeah, so I, I had, I mean, enough is enough. Like, the stress alone uh, and everything else I already mentioned, I just could not take it anymore. Physically even stress, I mean. I'd like to go into more details, but I don't want to bore you guys unless you want to know. If you want to know, ask a question in the comments. I'll definitely answer. Um, love to interact with you guys because the truth needs to be known. You know, the truth should always be known. The truth. I'm not. I'm not religious, but I like the saying: "The truth will set you free." Maybe I don't know if that's even religious or if that originally came from religion. I don't know. But if I mean, if you are religious, that's cool. Not no offense. You know, I respect all religions and all that. But um, but I do like that saying. So. Anyways, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> finally put in my, uh, <laughs> and you know, you, you think too, like, you know, I was talking to, uh, whew, sorry, I was switching hands here, I was talking to my, you know, some of my family and stuff, you know, I mean, it's common sense, I mean, talk to yourself, common sense will tell you, well, why would you feel this way, like I am right now, like, it's like hesitant, extremely hesitant, I should say, look in fear, like, am I making the right decision type of thing to leave them, um, and I, you know, because all in logically and re realistically, hell yeah, anybody with their common sense would leave. As a matter of fact, that's also why we have extremely high turnover. As a matter of fact, at our location, our turnover was this crazy high percentage in only nine months that I was there. You know, I mean, it's not too long, not too short. I was really hoping to get a year. It sucks on that one. But anyways, yeah, that short time, kind of, well, that, that little bit of time, turnover week was crazy and we had so many new people coming in and sometimes those new people would immediately leave like within 30 days so I mean that right there turnover rates will tell you not that's another tips and tricks uh, that's a big tip if a company you want to work for has a high turnover rate stay the F away trust me unless like they just revamped their whole uh, their whole like uh, the whole command uh, you know chain of command like management and and directors or you know whoever CEOs whoever's in charge of all that chief retail chiefs blah 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 unless they just did all that and then maybe something new is going to come from it and not happen again then you know it's a risk still but in general uh, in general high high turnover rates places stay there for it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so, um, so, anyways, what was I saying? Getting a little awkward looks. <laughs> awkward looks always throw me off. No, don't throw off my chain of thought here. <coughs> Cold, go away. Cough, cough. Uh, anyways, so here I am, you know, went to, uh, simply, you know, share it with you guys, with the world, because that's who I am. Uh, if you kind of haven't detected already, you'll definitely detect very quickly. I am an extremely open-minded, open type of guy, very sociable. I love that, that just that whole aspect. And I think, I think it's really stupid and just dumb and false to think that, oh, that, that to, for one person to think that they're too good to talk to another person because of whatever, social class or, or, or income or all these stupid things. You know what that is? That's pretentiousness and pride. And those two things alone, and arrogance. Those three things alone are just the worst things ever. They can destroy your your life completely and just make you a miserable person. So be happy, be nice to people. <sighs> be open with people, be honest with people, you know? You never know who you might meet by talking to some random stranger. I mean, then again, also be safe. <laughs> Don't just go talking to random strangers, especially if you're in a big city, that random stranger. <laughs> might actually have very bad intentions, especially if you're a girl. Uh, so I'm talking to a guy, you know, or vice versa, you know, kind of girl, okay, blah blah. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I just wanted to share that I am now sitting by the beach. Again. It's a nice location in the sun.
sun talking to you guys and uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, with the beach behind me having kids wondering what I'm doing it's cool experiencing you know sharing vlogging with the world you know a lot of people don't realize too uh, what vlogging is a lot of people aren't aware of it um, so it's cool it's kind of all of us vloggers or for a long time now I mean well, kind of long I mean, it's still a fairly new thing I mean vlogging was what like only maybe I mean, who was the first first vlogger? Answer that question I wonder, on YouTube. Who was the first vlogger? I know, I know the greatest vloggers and all that, and the first family vloggers, if you want to call them that, you know. But um, yeah, so it's still a fairly new thing, and and that's why we get vloggers get really funny looks all the time, because it's new. People are always curious of what they don't know. Sometimes, people, a lot of times, people fear what they don't know too, and that's also why we get a lot of. Uh, feedback like oh don't kill me or like uh, for example like Google Glass unfortunately Google Glass first of all guys Google Glass is awesome alright uh, if you want to know anything everything about it you can ask me I would love to share with you um, it's not what all this stupid media puts it out to be it's not that I mean you know no, no offense to you in the media companies but media companies definitely are love to take it. you know that's 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 news unfortunately in this country nowadays you know selling stories that may not exactly be true putting a lot of drama into it and over emphasis and stuff but google glass and like so for example here's a okay i know we're kind of changing the subject here but here's a funny thing a lot of people think google glass is uh like always recording or something but in reality it's not it's, it's an awesome camera i mean it's, it's an awesome device with a built-in camera um, that you can do pov shots with you know personal view personal view shots with and all the cool stuff uh, etc etc and i can go more deep specs details but but long story short it's not always on if it was always on <laughs> a you have to have an extremely awesome battery or and unfortunately do not so the, of course the battery would just run out very quickly um, no you have to initiate it just like any other device um, but really all in all what a google glass is to sum it up it's just a smartphone that you wear on you it's wearable and um, and i always get, it's funny too a lot of people say oh well you know good i don't want the camera facing at me well listen you know you know i always say like like my brother was telling me that it's like I don't, I don't know if you guys realize i don't know if you realize bro but uh but everybody's smartphone cameras are also facing you like look imagine like uh just just pay attention like if you're ever on the subway if you're in the city or at a mall you know everybody's pulling out their phones where's that camera pointing at? like when they're holding it like this the rear camera is facing right at you or the rest of the public and we're not going around to every single person with that smartphone saying like hey are you filming are you filming are you filming me you know don't, don't face that camera towards me I mean, there's a lot of different reasons we can't say that anyways, and especially in public places, because you know, people are allowed to film whatever they want in public, you know, by law, blah, blah. But, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's the same thing as that, you know. Sure, the lens is actually there, but it doesn't mean it's on. And you're going to have the same, all in all, you're going to have the same possibility of somebody filming you with a Google Glass as you would with a smartphone or any other camera. So, and if we're going to attack one, we have to attack them all. So, be nice to people, guys. Don't bash Google Glass people. Uh, Google Glass users. As a matter of fact, I, I cannot wait to get a Google Glass myself. I've been begging Google for one, but I can't afford it. They won't send me one. Hashtag heartbroken. And uh, I ate my tear. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'm sorry that Seagull has a big cracker in his mouth. Distractions. Yeah, so, um, but when it does come out, uh, rumors are next year, hopefully. I mean, we'll think, it's looking more like next year now, finally, 2015. Uh, when the uh, actual official consumer version comes out, it'll be much cheaper, much faster, better, lighter, all that good stuff. You know how technology always gets. And dude, you all are gonna want one. Where most of us will want one. And it's, I'm telling you, and, and why not? It's awesome, dude. Heck yeah. And uh, trust me, I mean, especially if like, you're into anything of like filmmaking or photography, um, and you like, and you're, you know, because think about it, a lot of us Americans, like for example, just the U.S. in general, we're like probably one of the, definitely one of the biggest, definitely one of the biggest countries when it comes to smartphones. I mean, so many people have smartphones here. Even our kids have iPhones and the latest Android phones and all these cool, awesome devices. Um, everybody knows how to use one and work one. And I mean, if you just look, it's amazing too. Like if you had to take a picture of a shopping mall 10 years ago and then compare it to a picture now. Um, you just see tons and tons of smartphones. I saw a picture of that too, where uh, like when the Pope, I think, was getting, uh, you know, when the, you know, when you know, when the new Pope was getting, what they call it, I forgot what they call it, but not re-elected. That's more like political. But when the new Pope was getting elected, let's say elected, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and I think he was giving a speech or something. It was cool. They were comparing pictures of like of uh, people in the past, like that same event outside of Vatican Square, to now. <laughs> and back then, people were just like like maybe just looking up, you know, using their own eyes. And now everybody was <laughs> compared to now, everybody's holding up a smartphone, using the digital eyes, if you want to call that. So, so you know, cameras pointed on everybody in public and all that. It's definitely been around for. It's already been around here. Um, and Google Glass is no different. So, anyways, that's my uh, that's my defense for Google Glass users, because <laughs> those poor guys sometimes they <laughs> they get a lot of crap, and, and girls you know they get a lot of crap from, from just mean people, and, like establishments and stuff banning it. Like they'll ban a Google Glass, but they won't like a bar. They'll ban a Google Glass, but they won't ban a smartphone, dude. It doesn't matter. If you ban my glass, I can just pull out my smartphone and film everybody if I want it. And nobody will know the difference because they think I'm texting or on an app or all that other crap. So, common sense. Common sense. Anyways, I don't want to go on to that. Um, but yeah, I go on up a lot. So, yep, we are here. Let me see how long this is. Whoa. Another 16 minute vlog. Sorry, guys. Hope you like talking. That's my long talk. Uh, I wasn't walking around today, so it's more focused on me. Hope you don't mind. Imagine if we're uh, having a digital conversation here, a digital video chat, you know, face to face. Hope 16 minutes is not too long. <laughs> let me know if uh, if you uh, let me know what you guys think would be an ideal vlog time. I know some people like the five minutes, maybe. A lot of some vloggers start off five minutes, and then a lot of people now love vloggers to have like long vlogs, like 30 minutes, like the Shaytards, like all their. Uh, including myself <laughs> you know i used to and a lot and a lot of people still do like always want like a nice 30 minute vlog so yeah let me guys, let me know what you guys want i love filmmaking i uh and i would not mind the extra work and effort of importing editing exporting rendering all that good stuff for you guys if you want a longer vlog i can definitely get the footage for you so yeah here check this out doggies doggies <laughs> i think that's a yeah, I think that one is a fox here. Oh, there's a, a pit bull over there. Oh my goodness. Dogs meet for the first time. So cute. Oh my goodness. There's a nice little pit bull there. He's kind of short and stout. Doggies. <laughs> you guys like doggies? Let me know. What's your uh, choice of pet? Dog, cat, hamster, gerbil, mouse, snake, cricket. Robotic <laughs> like the Furbies, remember those? I like those up. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and name this one today, but that was my clip. And honestly, if you listened, if you watched, if you got this far, thank you so much. It feels good to talk about it. It feels good to share it with someone else, even if you are on the other side of the world, or just a mile away, or walking by hearing me in front of me. So. Uh, yeah, it feels good to share it, and uh, even if you're just one viewer, at least that's one other human being that can uh, hear me and share my uh, experience. And if you have similar experience, please share it with me too. Uh, that's another thing too, I, I mean, uh, I don't want to make this, this clip too long, but uh, I have noticed, not to be, not to be uh, offensive to any other YouTubers, but I notice a lot of the majority of big YouTubers, unfortunately, never really uh, interact with their viewers on YouTube. They do other channels too, sometimes like Twitter, or maybe they, maybe they just like that better. That's cool. But me, I, I like to stick within the Google realm. Um, so if you uh, ever leave a comment or uh, ask a question or anything, I will read comments. I will respond back unless I ever get to like, which would be a dream come true, if I ever got to like millions of subscribers, man. But even then, I would still do it. And there's still some... YouTubers that do do that, like shout out to do like hello, Corey, you're awesome. You still do that, so that's really cool. You actually replied to me, so sending you a shout out back via video and audio. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will definitely do it, and we will um, 
engage because that's how I always was, you know, and still am. Like I love watching other. I mean, I'm I'm always big on YouTube just just as a viewer, you know, and uh, I love a lot of the content that these creators are making. But and then I leave a comment and I'm like and and I ask questions, you know, like you know, good questions, you know, like what camera maybe you're using or you know or just whatever about the, that vlog, you know, specifically. But I never hear anything back. It sucks. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I know I know they're not trying to be intentionally rude or anything. It's just you know. They probably, I guess they realize, oh, I got millions of people, hundreds and hundreds of comments, so I guess it's not going to be ideal, but, but I will try that, because, like I said in yesterday's vlog, if this is going to be in chronological order, that I am going to, oops, my hand is shaking, sorry guys, I'm going to try my best to, uh, I'll be a full, or I mean, let me phrase it, I want to be a full-time YouTuber, so if I'm doing this full-time and this is my job, heck yes. I would love to engage in any aspect, from comments to creating good content to whatever, to collaborations. Uh, oh, you know one thing I really love to do? If I ever, of course, got to that status, if you want to call it, um, but that hopefully would help you guys, is I would love to uh, go to these cool conventions, you know, like Blogger Fair and, and uh, gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. Right on the top of my head, I know these names. Um, like the biggest one, um, well, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, there's awesome, cool YouTube conventions. Why you guys go to? A lot of you guys go to. I'd love to check it out. It's so fun, right? To be with other people just like you, talk and chat, and panels and food and and if you're above 21, alcohol. Oh yeah. <laughs> and of course, within moderation, or at least within without stupidity, <laughs> smart drinking, <laughs> all, right, all that. Uh, so. Anyways, yeah. So I. Uh, Yep, so I think I'm going to go ahead and finally end this clip now. It is, what time is it? It is 1.21. My time. And I think I just missed lunch. Crap. Or missing lunch. I'm going to go eat now. Getting kind of jittery. You get jittery when you eat, when you don't eat. I do. So, more to come. Ciao. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, thanks so much for watching today's. Um, it's not really a vlog. It's more of a, simply a um, a talk, a chat session, if you will. Uh, I wanted to, um, that day was quite uh, hard for me, I should say, to do, because I didn't know if I was making the right decision or not. Now, I am totally glad I did. And all in all, I knew it was the right decision, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to get past that hurdle. And once you do, it's just like, you know, boom. It's like, wow, it is... Uh, so much better and why didn't I do this a long time ago so anyways um, yeah so and I'm sure we've all experienced something similar like that um, so yeah if you have uh, leave a comment down below what is your big uh, decision maker that you had to do in life once and where you had to uh, you were hesitant about it or thinking a long long time about it didn't know if it'd be the right decision uh, but you have to finally make that decision and go with it um, and then, of course, once you did make the decision, how did you feel afterwards? Did you regret it or did you totally, totally, uh, were, were you totally, totally, you know, glad that you did make that um, decision? So, anywho, um, sorry it's a little bit long. Um, I'm trying to keep them down because, like I said, I don't know if you guys like to watch longer or shorter vlogs. But, any houses uh, on the left side, uh, you can see I am uh, walking and uh, well, at this current time, at least, I am walking right now and then talking and chalking and flippity flopping you know with my give a give you know uh but uh anyways <laughs> if you want to check me out more please click on that left side there that is uh vlog day two or vlog three or, uh i'm not doing them in chronological order so um i mean i am but it's not like exact real time so i'm confusing my own self anyways uh but that is a great vlog i really love that one um so go ahead and check that one out and if you want and also on the right side that is when we travel from la to maryland uh so that was really, really cool as well so please check that one out too and lastly of course if you do um think i did a good job or slightly good or maybe even a little bit of good please uh do me a great big favor and click on that subscribe button that way you'll be notified every time i push out a new vlog um and all the other good uh, enjoyment and benefits uh, that come from being a subscriber and also of course if you don't mind please 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 if you think I also did good please go ahead and click on that 
thumbs up button. And lastly, most importantly, also uh, go ahead and share with all your friends and fam. So you can click on any of those little share buttons there or tap on it if you're on a touchscreen device and it will allow you to share to your various social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, you can even email it, etc, etc and say, hey, check this guy out. I think he's cool. He looks like Ben Affleck. <laughs> or something like that. No, that's what I get a lot, but I don't really think I do. Anyways, um, long, maybe I should start keeping the insight short now too because it's, look, it's already three minutes. I can just keep going on. It's like another vlog after the vlog. And uh, you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so thanks so much for watching again, and um, we will see you in the next one. Ciao.